guys, so today I am back for my November favorites. Can't believe that it's December, pretty much December now, and I just have a few favorites that I've discovered over the past month that I thought I'd share with you guys. So I'm not really gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff. So the first product that I have been dying to rave about because I showed it in a haul video, and if that's not up by now, then it should be up soon. Um, but I showed this in a haul video and I was kind of unsure about it, um, but the lady at Benefit who um, put this on me, I really liked it then, but I just wasn't sure how I was going to like it when I got home. But I am obsessed with it. And this is Benefit's Gimme Brow, and it's amazing. It's a tinted brow gel, and it's kind of like a two-in-one product for me. It puts color on my eyebrows so I don't have to fill them in. And it's a brush, so it brushes them through. Like, how... Nifty, like best invention ever. Um, the only downfall to this is that it's pricey, but I really, really like it and it makes doing my brows so easy. So I'm hoping this lasts me a long time, but I'm not sure if it will because it's so little and there's not a lot of product in there. But loving this for the brows, if you guys want something really easy just to fill the brows in and brush them through and give them a little bit of definition, I would definitely recommend the Gimme Brow. Okay, so another makeup product that I've been dying to talk about to you guys, I showed this I think in my haul video. Actually, I'm not sure if I did, but it's this huge, <laughs> huge um, little makeup kit, makeup box from Tarte Cosmetics. And I've just been loving this as my everyday makeup essentials in this box right here. I'm hardly touching any of my blushes or any of my naked palettes because I've just been using everything in this box. And so what comes in the box, it's super cute. It comes with 16 eyeshadows. There's a mirror so you can see, hi guys. <laughs> but it comes with 16 eyeshadows and four blushes and then you can also pull out this little section at the bottom and it came with a mirror and some lip glosses but I actually gave those away to some friends um, and family for the Christmas for Christmas for their Christmas present and so I've just been loving all of these shades As you can see they're pretty neutral amazing neutral colors I would definitely recommend this I think you could still find it on either QVC or on Tarte.com, Tarte's website, I would definitely recommend it. And this would make a great gift as well because it's just a perfect little to-go makeup and it has just all your essentials in it. Okay, so next beauty product is this little guy. And this is a lipstick from NARS that I got, I think like mid-November, beginning of November. And I returned my beauty blender, I told you guys this, but I returned the beauty blender and um, exchanged it for this. And I've never tried Nars's lipstick, but I am in love. And it's so um, creamy, so pigmented, so amazing. I'll have a close-up of a swatch of it. It's gorgeous. It's in the shade Red Lizard, but it's just the perfect red color. So if you guys are in the market for an amazing red lipstick, I would definitely try on Nars Red Lizard at Sephora or something or some makeup counter and try it on to see if you like because I really like it. Okay, and then for um, moisturizer, I found this moisturizer like at the end of November really and I've just been obsessed with it. This is another thing I showed in my haul video. It's amazing. It's helped my skin from getting those dry patches so much. I was using the Clean and Clear um, what is it? The Clean and Clear Morning Glow Moisturizer and it wasn't moisturizing at all. It was maybe good for sunscreen like I would probably use this more in the summer because it's more of a sunscreen product but it was not moisturizing my face and because it's so dry outside I've been getting horrible dry patches and the only thing that's really been helping this has been this little baby and this is Olay the fresh effects line from Olay and it's a satin finish um, lotion facial lotion I just use this twice a day makes my skin feel so silky and so soft and I'm definitely gonna go through this so quickly I can't wait to get another one because it's amazing and it just is especially great in the morning because it's a great primer for your foundation which I always like to either use a moisturizer or something under my foundation so it just kind of adheres to my skin and there is a leaf blower right outside my window can't you see I'm filming a video? So that's pretty much it for makeup products. That wasn't a lot, but those have just been like my staples for the month of November. 
and for candles I've been burning this candle in the back it's like halfway done and it's amazing that's the candle from Bath and Body Works that I showed again in my haul video and it's called tis the season and it smells so good it's one of the little mason jars and they were having a sale at Bath and Body Works for five dollars for those mason jar candles the candle just smells like Christmas and so yummy and so I've just been burning it non-stop in my room and it smells so good in my room right now okay so on to the little chit chat portion I was gonna make a Missy Mumbles which is my vlog channel a like random favorites but I didn't have a whole lot so I thought I would just include it in this favorites video so if you guys don't want to hear me talk about and ramble about just random stuff then Bye bye <laughs> So my favorite movie that I saw this month, I actually saw several movies in theaters and on Netflix that I haven't seen before. I watched The Host on Netflix, which was, uh, whatever. Um, I saw About Time in, um, in the theaters with some of my friends and that was amazing. That's the one with Rachel McAdams and the little British red-haired boy, I'm not sure his name, but that was so good. That movie made me cry, and it was just like an inspiring, heartwarming, <laughs> sounds so corny, it was just a really good, um, feel-good kind of movie, and it was also a love story, so it was amazing, and Rachel Mac McAdams, Rachel McAdams always does such a good job when it comes to like love stories and love movies. And then I also saw last weekend I saw um, Dallas Buyers Club which was amazing. One of the best movies I have seen in like in a very very long time. It was so good and I've heard it's gonna win like a ton of Academy Awards because the cast was amazing. There was um, the main person in it um, was Matthew McConaughey and he looks so different in that movie. It's basically about a guy, Matthew McConaughey, who um, it took place like in the 70s I think or 80s and he gets HIV AIDS and so he basically becomes like a drug dealer and sells these drugs to other HIV AIDS people um, to keep them alive and keep them healthy and so it basically becomes like a drug dealer. <laughs> Sounds like a lame movie but it was so good and it's super graphic though as far as the content so and it was rated R so obviously I don't recommend it to any of my young audiences but if you're older definitely go see it in theaters or um, watch it when it comes out on DVD or something because it was amazing. And then tomorrow, me and my coworkers are gonna go see Last Vegas, which is with Morgan Freeman and Robert De Niro and just a bunch of other actors. And I think it's basically about these guys, older guys that go to Vegas and whatever. So it's supposed to be really funny, I've heard. So I'm gonna see that. So those have been my favorite movies I think for the month of November. I really like those. Okay so I think that's gonna be it for my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and try some of these products out and some of the movies I recommended. I hope you guys go see them. So I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye everyone.